Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be talking about the US naval base Bahrain, the home and headquarters of the US Central Command tasked with fighting the pirates of the Horn of Africa. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, let's get right into it. Fact 1. Fifth Fleet. The United States Navy's Fifth Fleet, headquartered in Bahrain, plays a pivotal role in maintaining maritime security and stability in the Middle East and surrounding waters. Established in 1944 during World War II, the Fifth Fleet has evolved into a critical component of U.S. naval presence in the region. One of its primary missions is to patrol and safeguard the strategically vital Strait of Hormuz, a narrow passage connecting the Persian Gulf to the Arabian Sea. This waterway is crucial for global energy supplies, with a significant portion of the world's oil passing through it. The Fifth Fleet's presence in this region helps ensure the uninterrupted flow of oil and other goods, and it acts as a deterrent against any potential disruptions. While the Fifth Fleet primarily focuses on Middle East operations, its mission extends to counter piracy efforts off the coast of Somalia in the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean. The Fifth Fleet's adaptability allows it to address multiple maritime security concerns simultaneously. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. Coast Guard Usage. The U.S. Navy base in Bahrain, known as Naval Support Activity Bahrain or NSA Bahrain, serves as a strategic hub not only for the U.S. Navy but also for the U.S. Coast Guard in the Middle East. Established in the 1970s, this facility plays a crucial role in advancing American interests and security in the region. While the primary mission of NSA Bahrain is to support U.S. Navy operations in the Middle East, it also provides a platform for U.S. Coast Guard activities in the area. The U.S. Coast Guard deploys personnel and assets to Bahrain to conduct various missions, including maritime security, law enforcement, search and rescue, and counter-piracy efforts. Cooperation between the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Coast Guard at NSA Bahrain highlights the importance of interagency collaboration in addressing multifaceted maritime challenges. Together, they work to ensure the security of vital waterways, combat smuggling, enhance maritime safety, and support regional allies and partners. In summary, NSA Bahrain's role extends beyond the U.S. Navy, encompassing support for the U.S. Coast Guard's missions in the Middle East. This joint effort underscores the U.S. commitment to maintaining maritime security and promoting stability in the region through a coordinated and multifunctional approach. Overall, the U.S. Navy base in Bahrain represents a critical piece of America's commitment to regional stability and security in the Middle East. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. 9,000 personnel. The United States Navy base in Bahrain is a strategically significant installation in the Middle East. With a diverse community of approximately 9,000 military personnel, Department of Defense civilians, and their accompanying family members, it serves as a vital hub for U.S. operations and partnerships in the region. Located in the heart of the Arabian Gulf, this base plays a crucial role in promoting regional stability and safeguarding vital maritime interests. It hosts various facilities and assets, including a deep water port, airfields, and administrative buildings, allowing it to support a wide range of naval and military operations. The personnel stationed at the Bahrain base come from various branches of the U.S. military, including the Navy, Marine Corps, Army, and Air Force, as well as DoD civilians who provide essential support and expertise. Their missions encompass everything from maintaining regional security and counterterrorism efforts to supporting humanitarian operations and facilitating diplomatic initiatives. The base's accompanying families contribute to the vibrant community, with access to educational facilities, medical services, and recreational activities, making it a more comfortable and supportive environment for military personnel and their loved ones. The family members are subjected to many restrictions in terms of dress and behavior due to being in a Muslim country. All right, let's get into the next and final fact. Right of refusal. The Combined Task Force 151, CTF 151, is a multinational naval task force formed to combat piracy off the coast of Somalia and in the broader Indian Ocean region. Comprising 38 different nations, CTF 151 operates as a voluntary coalition with each member nation contributing what it can to the fight against Somali pirates. This unique approach to international cooperation reflects a collective commitment to safeguarding one of the world's most vital maritime trade routes. Each nation has the right to refuse to take part in any activity it feels inappropriate. There is no obligation to perform any duties as commanded by the rotating commander. C 
CTF-151 operates under the framework of the United Nations Security Council resolutions, which authorize naval forces to conduct counter-piracy operations in the region. The task force's mission includes patrolling key shipping lanes, conducting surveillance, responding to distress calls, and deterring pirate activities. What makes CTF-151 particularly effective is its flexibility and adaptability. There is no specific obligation for member nations to contribute a certain number of ships or personnel, allowing each country to participate according to its capabilities and resources. This approach ensures a dynamic and responsive force capable of addressing evolving piracy tactics. By working together within CTF-151, these nations demonstrate a shared commitment to maintaining maritime security, preserving global trade, and upholding the principles of freedom of navigation on the high seas. It serves as a powerful example of international collaboration in the face of a common maritime threat. Alright, that is it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.